Hey folks, how's it going? This is Napalm, and I'm bringing you the episode 2 of The Wolf Among Us. Uh, it came out today, and well, I'm really excited about this, to be honest. More excited than The Walking Dead Season 2. So, without further ado, let's start the game. Ah, <sighs> boy. Mr. Toad? Yes? Do something, Bigby! before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to me, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill me. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, Bigby. You said it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man. This fucking laugh, dog. Sniffing around this place. Rich fucks in the woods need to take that. And that right big baby. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. So good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? 
please. Please. Go now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Uh, <clears throat> Quite a bit of an intro. Well done, Telltale. Well done. For the second episode. anything. Fine. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Big B, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man. And people are already worried about your conduct. He's working for somebody. And whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, were it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Dwelling on this shit isn't helping. Well, I apologize if my attempt at handling this has disturbed you, Bigby, but I thought we had some common ground. All right. It's been a shitty couple of days. I know you're trying. Thank you. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Nice, you fucked up his car. Way to go, Bigby. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? 
I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? Shh. I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. Make sure everything's up to code and whatnot. Looked all right, except for this big hole in the wall. Might get drafty. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. You know, I really like spending time with you, Bigby. You're so pleasant. Uh, put photo down. What's that you've got? Someone murdered Snow White. Wait, let's talk to him. Oh, crap. All right. Maybe we could show him. Just tell me what you were doing later. at Toad's place. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Wait a minute. He's being too nice to him. You always carry this much cash? I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. You taking out a loan? You might not like the interest on that. You'll need to account for that. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. So where's your brother? You could use Look, voice mate, and evidence. I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now. But he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Okay, um, let's pick up the cigar, because that uh, seems more important. Old very quick. That might be, like, the most important part. We need as much as... No, don't smoke it. God damn it. I'm saving that. What are you doing? Dougie, don't burn D. This is really... What's the point of this? <laughs> Real nice. No. Nope. Come on, D. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? 
She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss. So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Let's give him some whiskey. You just carry this around. Always handy that way. It couldn't hurt, I guess. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. This was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done! <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. Oh god, I can't see the light? God damn it. No. What's going on down here? Snow. That? Was ist das? That? Wow, quite a twist. And I'm starting to like the new cutscenes for this, actually, you know, the intros. Which is really, really nice. Uh, this would be a great place to stop the video, actually. Um, but yeah, I could have got been more harsh with Tweedledee, but if you read the comics that goes in the future, then um, you'll see what kind of a character Big B is, even in the early comics, though. So yeah, I'm just trying to follow what it is, how it is to those comics and stuff. But yeah. But anyways, what the twist? That is awesome. Snow's alive, or so we think. I'm gonna keep my light on because I couldn't find the Q button. What the hell was going on down there, Big B? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. If it's not Faith's body. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're not dead. 
Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? I'll figure this out. Don't worry. And what am I supposed to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Bigby, I... I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know. What? Just be nice, okay? I'm always nice. Hmm. <clears throat> TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. All right, TJ. That's Mr. Toad. All right, Toad and TJ. There we go. All right, I'm going to stop right here, actually. And I noticed that this is not how it would be in the trailer. In the trailer, Toad is mad that he treated D like all fucked up. And I didn't do that, so, well, he's going to be like, oh, how nice, you treated him with such respect. <laughs> um, yeah, this will be a good place to stop. Catch you later, guys, and stick with me. Thank you for your support. You have a good night. Bye.